Greetings. My name is Shelley Rogers and I am the coordinator at Earth Day Network of Artists for the Earth, which is Earth Day's campaign to bring the arts to the forefront of the environmental movement. Because the arts are so important in communicating the issues and shared concerns we all have for the planet. But by being able to not only reach minds, as perhaps in the case of pure science, but also by being able to reach our hearts. The arts also, like today, create community, which helps to share information, promote understanding, and can bring about a consensus among us, which is the first important step for change. But today's event is a wonderful bringing together of artists around Earth Day's global theme, which is Restore Our Earth, and in this case, centers on the subject of rain, rainfall, the fresh, clean water from the heavenly clouds above us, essential to the survival of all living things on Earth. We hope you will enjoy these performances, and on behalf of Earth Day Network and Artists for the Earth, thank you. Hi, this is Sonam Wangchuk from the Trans-Himalayan mountain deserts of Ladakh. We are going to celebrate the rain day on the 29th of July. 
But some of you may ask, what rain day? You live on a desert that has only four inches of rain and snow combined. Well, I always say, if you want to know the value of health, ask a leper, not a wrestler. If you want to know the value of wealth, ask a beggar, not a prince. And if you want to know the value of every drop of water, ask a Ladakhi, not somebody from the Amazon. So here in these vast deserts, which look more like a moonscape or a marscape, life is possible thanks to the glaciers. Actually, in this region, people dread rain more than desire. But that's because rain doesn't come when the people need it most and it comes pouring down when they fear it most, causing flash floods and lot of damage to life and property. The only reason life has been possible in this moon-like terrain is thanks to the glaciers, which has accumulated snow over centuries and when it melts in spring and summer, the farmers get the water they need to grow crops like barley, wheat, fruits like apricots, apples and vegetables of all kinds. But, and there is a big but, these glaciers are now fast melting away thanks to climate change due to human activities. And in 30 or 40 years, all these glaciers are expected to vanish. And then we will be left with two options, either to flee this land and become climate refugees or learn to live with rains, however small it is. And that's exactly what we are trying at our alternative school and university. We are experimenting with different special techniques to harvest the little rain that we get here in the desert and grow indigenous plants that require very little water and thereby see if we can create forests of indigenous plants, which will in turn help absorb the heavy rainfalls that cause floods and thereby prevent the damages of flash floods. And the water would soak slowly into the hill slopes and release in moderate amounts for longer duration, hopefully thereby making life possible once again. That's the best we can try. आज मैं लदाख के नेटिव प्लान को उगा रही हूँ क्योंकि हर जगह पेड़ों को काटे जा रहे हैं और जंगल जल रहे हैं. Today I've planted many plants like this one, like the seabug thorn, so that we can get oxygen more and more. So I'll do some researches for you. To research for my nation, to look at the young, to make sure that all the forests will look at each other for you. To fight climate change. So those of you who have much more rain than we have. Do please accept this message from a desert tribal from Ladakh and do please take care of every drop of rain because that can make the difference between a desert and an oasis. Hello, I'm Tiago Garrugue. I represent Earth Day Network in Mexico. I am greeting you from a magic valley in Mexico called Tepoztlan. In Tepoztlan, it rains very much at this time of the year, and we have these beautiful magic mountains that surround us. And also, here we have many artists and musicians. One of these musicians is Estusha Grimberg. She is a beautiful woman renowned all around the world for her world music and especially because she uses instruments that are indigenous to all this region. Today you will see her using the rain stick which is a special instrument that imitates the sounds of rain and it calls the rain, it calls for the rain to come and to bless us with its magic. Also, she will sing Paranue,
which is the song dedicated to the Paraná River in South America. And this wonderful river wouldn't be there if it wouldn't rain. So I leave with you Estusha Greenberg. from here in London, wishing you all a happy rain day. My name is Shomik Datta. I'm a musician and a composer, and I'm an ambassador for Earth Day Network, uh, which is an incredible, incredible organization. And I'm so proud to be working with them, bringing you this program today. We're passionate about 
our planet, this home that we all share together. And as an artist, I'm curious about the sounds that nature brings. I'm curious about the hum of the leaves and the songs of birds uh, and the white noise of the ocean. And of course, the rhythm of rain. I don't think there's a place in the world where people, artists, haven't been inspired by rain. And of course, in India, there is a whole chapter of music dedicated to the monsoon season, which is going on right now. So we, Earth Day Network and I, decided that we wanted to put together a special program to celebrate this, this thing that, that unites us all, that connects us to the sky, to the oceans, to trees, um, to the soil, um, and to each other. So it, I'm, I'm just, I'm so honored to welcome you all to this Festival of Rain. It is my absolute pleasure to be here, really. Happy rain day to all of you. Rain, paus, mare, mara, brishti, megha, 
Shravan, even the word is so beautiful. Let's pray that this rain brings us positivity, cheer and shringar. It was lovely for me to work on Kalidasa's Meghadutam, an epic story of the cloud messenger, a story of love, which was presented in 2014 in Chennai and many centers all around the world, beautifully choreographed by Shijit and Parvati Menon. Here is a small excerpt for you to enjoy. Happy rain again. Music Malawi, a grouping of activists and artists in the field of environmental management. Uh, we have a song in commemoration of the World Rain Day. This song was sung by our ancestors uh, when they were praying for rains whenever there were droughts. This song will be performed by Clifford and Collins. I am Zinja presenting Conservation Music Malawi. Enjoy the song. Yes. Chubi chubi chuga wane ma chubi 
I'm very happy and privileged to be part of the Earth Day Network. They are organizing a very special concert to create awareness of World Rain Day on July 29th, 2020. My heartiest congratulations and I wish all success and rain is one of the most important things for all the living beings. They are creating more and more awareness of the importance of water. All the very best for the success 
of the show. Namaste. Hi everyone, I'm Elena Morang from Borneo, uh, from Sarawak, Malaysia. And I'm going to share with you today a song from my people, the Kalabi people. It's a love song about waiting for my lover to return from the farm in the thunder and in the rain. This song is called Ulin. Happy World Rain Day, everybody. As the ambassador of the uh, Earth Day Network, I'd like everyone to restore our Earth and take climate action uh, and help us all conserve and preserve our natural resources. Hello there, this is Dr. Mark Everard here from the University of the West of England, wishing you a happy rain day. Uh, UK is generally thought of as a, a wet island, but we suffer uh, droughts as well as floods, as well as all the other consequences of climate change. When I was government advisor in South Africa during the water reforms, we used to have a saying that mitigation is about air and adaptation is about water. What does that mean? Well, mitigation is dealing with the causes. Adaptation is about what we do because climate change is happening. Well, society can do an awful lot to be more resilient, using much more of nature's ecosystem services in nature-based solutions to, to flood management, water quality, and so forth. So, yeah, we can deal with the causes, we can deal with the consequences by thinking differently and bringing natural processes into our lives. Sashrikal, I am Jasbir Jassi from Gurdaspur, Punjab. So, 
रेन डे के ऊपर इंटरनेशनल रेन डे के ऊपर बारिश के दिन के ऊपर स्पेशल मैं आपके लिए एक गुरबानी से शब्द लेके आया हूँ जो आपको अच्छा भी लगेगा और मैं उसके बारे में बताना भी चाहता हूँ कि गुरु अंगद देव महाराज जी दूसरे पातशाह जो सेकंड गुरु उन्होंने कैसे सावन आया हे सखी कंत चित करे तो कैसे सावन बारिश मौसम मूड्स के ऊपर इमोशंस के ऊपर कैसे उनका प्रभाव होता है ये उसकी प्रस्तुति है आपको अच्छा लगेगा सावन आया हे सखी कंत चित करे सावन आया हे सखी कंत चित करे नानक चूर सावन आया हे सखी कंत चित करे सावन 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 जल हर पर संहार सावन आया है सखी जल हर पर संहार नानक सुख सवन सुहा सावन आया सावन आया सावन आया हे सखी सावन आया हे सखी कंत चित करे सावन सावन आया Hello, I'm Mariana Rut from Portugal. I'm here in the southwest coast. I'm gonna sing to the rain.
I remember the delight of the first drops of rain when we were kids and absolute relief from the hot sunny days in Malaysia. The neighbourhood kids and I, we would pause whatever we were doing and we'd look at each other and we'd smile and we'd start to play again because rain made it that much more exciting. We'd splash through puddles, we'd laugh out loud because it was such good innocent fun that was available for everyone. As a kid, I loved reading though. I started to read about how humans produce so much pollution in the air that we've caused acid rain. And suddenly, it didn't seem like such innocent fun anymore. So at the first drops of rain, I would yell for my little brother and we would shelter. Over the next few decades, rain started to take on other different sinister meanings. When there was too much of it in some places and absolutely none in another. This week alone, my friend lost all of her family's belongings in the town of Kajang when floodwaters rose up to eye level. Similarly, in Johor, thousands would evacuate every year as the floods got more frequent and more severe. On the other hand, our forests would catch fire as the droughts got longer and our rivers and waterfalls ran dry. In Selangor, we'd start to get nervous because our dams would start to empty. We fear when rain comes, we fear when rain doesn't. When we pour so much cement over our land, when we should have been planting trees, what do we really expect to happen? We call it extreme weather, as if it had nothing to do with us and we were just victims of it happening. But what is really extreme is how we humans have upset the natural order so much that it can no longer work as it should. We have to realize that everything is connected and we are so intertwined in the climate crisis. So I ask myself, how have I contributed to this problem? And how can we be part of the solution? Because I believe that we humans have to be one with nature again and we have to act as one so that when rain comes, it is not met with fear, but with joy and laughter once again. Namaskar, I am Malini Avasthi. In Bharat Varsh, the Prakriti is made of Prakriti. And in the Varsh, the Sakshat is made of the Meg. किसान का उत्सव है ग्राम संस्कृति का उत्सव है एक ऐसा उत्सव जिसमें पूरी प्रकृति अपने सौंदर्य के साथ प्रकट होकर साक्षात सामने आ जाती है और इसीलिए ग्राम बालाएं श्रृंगार करके 
कजरी गाती हैं बादलों को मनाती हैं बरसो बादल और बरसो जितनी अच्छी बरखा उतनी अच्छी खेती मैं आपको सुना रही हूँ एक ऐसी कजरी जिसमें प्रकृति का वर्णन है बादल उमड़ आए हैं बरखा बरस रही है बूंदों की कैसी आवाज़ आ रही है और न सिर्फ ये बल्कि ये उस समय दादुर यानी कि मेढक भी निकल आए हैं झिंगूर की भी आवाज़ आ रही है पूरी प्रकृति वर्षा में नहा रही है कैसे झीरे झीर बन से सावन रास बुंदिया अरे झीरे झीर बन से सावन रास बुंदिया की आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बार की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बार की आई गई लेना दादुर बोले दादुर बोले झिंगुर जानकार दादुर बोले झिंगुर जानकार मोरवा नाचत करत पुकार की आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना आई गई लेना आई गई लेना आई गई लेना रे आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना धन धन बभना सगुन बिचारो धन धन बभना सगुन बिचारो धन धन बभना सगुन बिचारो अरे कब यहाँ पियावा हमार की आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना रे आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना अब बरखा बहार की आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना की आई गई लेना Hi, this is Matthew Leffler from Earth Day Network Africa. I'm coming to you from a garden in Washington, D.C. today, where it actually rained last night. You can see how green it is. Um, and I'm here to present a lovely song and dance from our partners and colleague. Hope you enjoy. Happy Rain Day! My name is Mariam Pina, a creative from Tanzania, and I have written this short and sweet song to celebrate World Rain Day. I hope you enjoy!
Hello, I am Joy Shankar. I am happy to be an artist for the art. The song I am going to sing is written by the maestro, the philosopher, Lalan Shai. I dedicate this song to the stone mother earth on World Rain Day. Amrito me ghero bari Mukher kotha eki mele chato Amrito me ghero bari Mukher kotha eki mele चातो मेघे को तो देगो पाकी तो बुचा तो क मेघेर भूगी मेघे को तो देगो पाकी तो बुचा तो क मैं घेर भूगी ओमनी नी बीड़ रखले आखी तारी शादोक बोले चातो शोभना होले चातो ओमृतो में घेरो बारी मुखर को था कि मेले चातो ओमृतो में घेरो बारी मुखर को था कि मेले चातो
پشتش بهاره پشتش بهاره پشتش بهاره Hello, my name is Maria Maisha and I'm from Mordich. I'm a singer, songwriter and I'm truly honored to be an ambassador for Earth Day Network organization and it is truly remarkable to represent such a wonderful uh, global initiative locally here in Maldives. Uh, with this uh, opportunity, I would like to creatively educate my fan base, uh, the general public, the youth, the younger generation. Uh, through my music, through art and through advocacy about our delicate environment and how to help it heal better so that we can create a global impact locally. L'amour libéré C'est réfléchi de pécasse en cause l'eau sa montagne La rivière l'y peut couler Tout ça banque se fait protéger Car de bon Dieu vient de Ray, 
Hi, my name is Michelle Dilhara and I'm from Sri Lanka. Climate change alters the rainfall patterns leading to droughts in some areas and the opposite in the other areas. Rainfall is perhaps one of the most important factors that describes climate and is also one of the major energy sources that drives the circulation of the atmosphere. As water changes from liquid to vapors and then back to liquid, heat is stored and then released. As an Earth Day Network ambassador, I'm really happy to hear that Earth Day Network is organizing a special international commemoration for World Rain Day. And I hope everyone will enjoy this event. I would like to conclude this with a beautiful poem written about rain by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. How beautiful is the rain after the dust and heat in the broad and fiery street in the narrow lane. How beautiful is the rain. Thank you very much. Hello from Sao Paulo, Brazil. I am Rodolfo Beltran, Regional Manager of South America. In this opportunity, I would like to present the videos of our partner, local partner, Abras Ofa from Sao Paulo, Brazil, in homage of Earth Day 2010, and especially on the rain event that Earth Day Network in India is doing. All success in this event. everyone, Namaste, Happy World Rain Day. I'm proud to perform for you today as an ambassador for the Earth Day Network. We all know the importance of rain. Rain not only gives us life, but is also a very important part of our culture and traditions. Pretty much every musician ever, anywhere in the world, has written at least one song inspired by rain. Now the song we are going to perform for you today is actually a song written for children. It speaks about the importance of rain, trees and of course us human beings. As we all know, the trees breathe in the carbon dioxide that we breathe out and gives us oxygen. And the trees are also largely responsible for rainfall. And the trees and us require rain for our life. So this is a song from the perspective of a tree reminding us about the delicate balance that we all need to maintain for our own survival. Here is Gimme Your CO2. I need 
need a drink I'm thirsty and very sad If you cut me down We both won't breathe And that would be real, real bad So give me, give me, give me your CO2 I'll breathe it in and give it back to you As oxygen I'll help you out Cause that's what giving is all about so green, making air that you can breathe. Don't chop me down, just leave me be in the forest with my family. So give me, give me, give me your CO2. I'll breathe it in and give it back to you as oxygen. I'll help you out, cause that's what giving is all about. The chainsaws buzz and the forests fall So many things are lost All the homes and the food for the animals And the air we breathe for us So give me, give me, give me your CO2 I'll breathe it in and give it back to you As oxygen, I'll help you out Cause that's what giving is all about Give me that, give me that CO2 I'll breathe it in and give it back to you You know I'll breathe it in and give it back to you So give me, give me, give me your CO2 Come on and give me, give me, give me your CO2 I'll breathe it in and give it back to you Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Nishikan Gupta. I'm currently working at the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development in Kathmandu, Nepal, and I wish all of you a happy rain day. Now when we talk about rain, over the last decade what we're beginning to see is there are some areas which are receiving a lot of rainfall in a very short span of time. And there's some areas which used to receive normal rain are seeing very little rainfall over the monsoon period. Now where there is more water, we are seeing increased incidences of floods. Uh, landslides, increased incidence of sedimentation and erosion and some areas where there's less rainfall now we're seeing increased incidences of drought. Now both these impacts whether it's too much water or too little water what we're beginning to see is, is having a huge impact on the lives, livelihoods, damage to infrastructure and also the well-being of uh, the communities which are at the fo forefront of these impacts. So what do we do? I mean you know we know this is happening you talk to the communities and you know yes they, they have, they'll tell you that yes, over the last 10 decades, there's less water in the rivers now. There is less water in the springs, which they relied on for portable drinking water. What we need is a solution package, a package of solutions, uh, a sustainable solution packages, which actually address these woes. So, for example, with this too much water, say in an urban setting, for example, rainwater harvesting, that's something that could be looked into to store the excess water and use it in, during leaner times. Uh, if you look at the areas which are, have droughts, maybe smart agriculture practices, crops which are more drought resilient, so these are some of the things that can be looked into. And of course, there's a very important need to talk to policy makers, decision makers, to enhance the existing policies to dis address these issues, and also come up with new strategies, new action plans to make regions which suffer from these issues more resilient in the coming decade and for the future generation.
celebration of rain and as you can imagine in our music in India rain and the monsoon is very important you can see the piano was even dampened with it <laughs> <laughs> basically rain uh, you know, portrays a color which which uh, invokes a very special quality of the Naika mm -hmm. which is the heroine the emotion that is Abhiman missing out her Sakha and uh, all the way the clouds are to be blamed for not being able to go and meet him. So most of the of the Indian music compositions that are rain centric have this particular kind of emotion. And uh, I would also like to mention that the first song that I sang, um, Gharaja Khirai, is a composition by one of the finest uh, music directors from India, R. D. Burman, as many of you know him. And uh, he converted such a beautiful traditional raga into this popular song. And this was his first composition. Can you imagine a man, such a legend who becomes later, composes for the first time such a beautiful song on Indian classical raga. And this was his first composition, as I said, uh, you know, published in his name. So I hope you enjoyed the performance.
Ito ako na yon, nagisa, naglalakpay sa gitna ng dilim. Lagi na lang ako na darapa, ngunit heto bumabangon pa rin. Heto ako. Masang masasalan, walang masisalungan, walang malalapitan. Sana'y may luha pa, akong may laluha, at nang mabawasan ang aking kalungkutan. Lumi at putik sa aking Katawan, ihip ng hangin at katahimikan Bawat patak ng ulan at ng ang lamig Waring nag-uutos upang maglaho ang pag-ibig Heto ako, pasang masasaulan Walang masisalungan, walang malalapitan. Sana'y may luha pa, akong may luluha. At nang mabawasan ang aking kalungkutan. We were in Kolkata Deshupiyo Park a couple of years back. We all gathered on stage to celebrate Earth Day and uh, rain joined us. I mean, the rain joined the celebration. We had to disconnect all our electronic equipment for safety. We were disappointed. Children were more disappointed. Now suddenly, I thought I can do a small program for them, especially the children at the backstage. I just wanted to make the children happy and slowly everybody joined. Within a couple of minutes, we were celebrating Earth Day, unplugged backstage. We were all singing together. Children were happy. So are we. It's a different year. It's an absolute different situation. We are at home, but today we will celebrate from our home. Feel our earth and the rain inside our soul. We will be positive and uh, we are. Let me tell you that with all that is going through on in this world right now, probably and surely we are moving towards it brighter future. This song is not exactly about rain but it talks about a boy in love with a girl in the opposite balcony and the boy cries don't you get drenched in rain don't catch cold because if you do you will come out in your balcony and I'll miss you. It's very simple. <laughs>
পাগল হলে নাকি আরে আমার কি হবে আমার যে কি হবে আমার কি হবে আমার যে কি হবে কি হবে
India thanks all the artists for Earth who sent in these amazing contributions from 20 countries across six continents. We hope that the commemoration will lead each of us to lowering our carbon footprint and increasing the green cover. Collectively, these acts of green will help prevent rainfall patterns from becoming erratic. Thank you to all those who shared images of rain from across the globe, many of which we have used today. To the team at Earth Day Network India and our colleagues in multiple countries, thank you for your support. To all our viewers, thank you for being a part of this first ever International Rain Day commemoration. We hope you enjoyed it.